Thank you. I thank the gentleman, uh, and I'm proud to join uh, my colleagues in strong support of this bipartisan defense bill that we successfully voted out of the committee just three weeks ago. Uh, the chairman and the ranking member mentioned uh, some of the most important provisions in the bill, not only the overall top line number, which represents a $37 billion increase over President Biden's request, uh, but also a 4.6 percent pay raise, a 2.4 percent pay bonus for enlisted personnel to counteract the effects of inflation on low-income military families, the $500 million additional housing allowance to counteract the skyrocketing cost of rent on military families, as well as an additional $750 million to reduce the cost of food and other necessities at, uh, for, for our service members. I think it's worth understanding uh, why this is important, not only just in light of our overall duty to take care of our men and women in uniform at a critical time, but we also have a looming recruiting crisis uh, on our hands. I'm very concerned about the inability of any of the services to meet their recruiting goals, and we are going to have to spend a lot of time thinking about that problem and how we fix it before we proactively lower standards. Because at the end of the day, notwithstanding any advance in technology, it all comes down to the men and women that volunteer and risk their lives to defend this country. It's about the warfighter. That is where we need to stay focused. It's also why I am proud that this bill includes many reforms to the professional military education process with the intent of regaining our focus on warfighting so that our war colleges teach how to fight and win our nation's wars. This is a critical time for U.S. national security. Our enemies are on the march. And we are being asked to hold the line. And it's absolutely critical that Congress stays focused on the defense of this country and does not allow the defense of this country to be politicized in the way other issues have, which is why I so very much appreciate the work of the ranking member of the chairman in setting that bipartisan tone. And I'm very proud to support this bill. It's back. 